The good old times, all times when old are good, are gone. The present might be if they would. Great things have been and are, and greater still want little or mere mortals, but they will. A wider space, a greener field, is given to those who play their tricks before high heaven. I know not if the angels weep. But men have wept enough for what to weep again. All is exploded, be it good or bad, read it. Remember when to work a lad, then beat was all, or if not all, so much. His very rival almost deemed such. We we have seen the intellectual race of giant stands like titans, face to face, Athos and Ida, with a dashing sea of eloquence between, which flowed all free as the deep billows of the Gian roll, betwixt the Hellenic and the Phrygian shore. But where are they, the rivals? A few feet of solid earth divide each winning sheet. How peaceful and how powerful is the grave, which hushes on a calm, on stormy wave which oversweeps the world. The team is old, of dust to dust, but half its tale told. Time tempers not its terror. Still the warm winds, its cold folds, the tomb preserves its form, varied above, but still unlike below, the urn may shine, the ashes will not glow, through Cleopatra's mummy, across the sea, over which from empire she delivered Anthony, the Alexander's urn, a show begrown, on shores he wept to conquer, though unknown. How vain, how worse than vain, at length appeared the man man's wish, the Macedonia's dear. He wept for words to conquer, half the earth knows, not his name, or but his death, and birth, and desolation, while his native priest had all of desolation save its peace. He wept for woes to conquer. He who never conceived the glory, he painted not to spare. But even the buzzy northern isle or no, which holds his urn and never his throne. But where is he, the modern, mighty far, who bore no king when monarchs draw his car? The new Sassotris, whose unharnessed kings, 
freed from the big to believe themselves with the wings and spurn the dust over which they crawled or lived, chained to the chariot of the chiefs in state. Yes, where is he, the champion of the child? Of all that's great or little, wise or wild, whose game was empire and whose stakes were thrones, whose stable earth, whose dice were human bones. Behold the great result in your mother eye, and as thy nature urge, weep or smile. Sight behold the eagle's laughter can rage, reduced to nibble at his narrow cage. Smile to survey the queller of the nations. Now daily squabbling or disputed rations. Weep to be served in mourning as he dines, over curtly dishes and over tainted rhymes, over petty quarrels upon petty things. Is this the man who scourged or feasted kings? Behold this chaos in which his fortune hangs. A surgeon's statement in an earl's herrings. A post deleted, a book refused, can shake the sleep of him who kept the world awake. Is this indeed the theme of the great? Now slave of all cruelties, or we irritate the paltry killer and the spying spy, the staring stranger with his notebook at night. Plunge in the dungeon, he had still been great. How low, how little was this middle of the state. Between a prison and a palace where how few could feel for what he had to bear. Vain his complaint, my blood presents his peers. His food and wine were dulled out of duty still. Vain was his sickness. Never was a climb so free from homicide to dogs crying. And the stiff surgeon who maintained his cause had lost, had lost his place and gained the world's applause. But smile through all the pains of brain and heart, disdain, despite the tardy aid of art. Though save the few fond friends and imagined face of that fair. Thank uh-huh. you.